Hi. Hi. What you listening to? Bluegrass. And nice gun, where'd you get it? Bluegrass? Uh-huh. Okay, uh, what do you call this? Green grass? The hell's wrong with you? You stupid? All right, just checking, just checking. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. So, Bluegrass Big Boar, the retailer that kindly sent me this, said, and I quote, this is probably the most powerful rifle you've ever shot on your channel. So of course, in this video, we're going to immediately find out if such preposterous statement has any truth or foundation to it. They say that the Zeus is the most powerful air gun in the world. I've yet to try it, so I can't say much right now. I personally have the Dragon Claw 1 and 2, which I believe are probably the second most powerful big bore air rifles out there. And I will soon battle the Dragon Claws against our challenger here. No pun intended. So do stay tuned and make sure you are subscribed to the channel to not miss these videos. Anyway, let's now head out to the Everglades and get to work on finding out the answer we're all here asking. Is this indeed the most powerful 50 caliber air rifle in the world? So many of you know this target, some of you don't. This is the Tunnel of Destruction, so-called by me, where we put five stainless steel metal trays in a row to see how far this thing will penetrate. Well, it is probably somewhere in the 80 degrees, 30s Celsius. It's the end of January. It's probably freezing where you are. I am sweating balls where I am. I'm jealous of you. You're probably jealous of me. Anyway, here we are. So I mounted a scope uh, on the rifle, obviously, so we can hit our targets, hopefully. And as you see, to help me out with the weight of this gun, which is really one of the heaviest guns I've ever uh, dealt with, I am using this beautiful bipod, uh, tripod sent to me by Tracheom. Thank you so much for sending it to me, they sent it a while back. I just didn't find the right video for it. And this one is just perfect. Okay, so this is just a power test. So we'll keep the targets re relatively close at 10.2 yards. All right, all right, all right. Seems like, indeed, from test number one, we have in our hands the most powerful 50 caliber rifle ever shot on this channel. We completely obliterated this first tray. Can't even get it out. Everything is so deformed. That is your 
first tray. Uh, second stainless steel metal tray. By the way, I put these in the links below, so if you want to know exactly what kind of trays they are, or what kind of metal and all that, you can. All right, man, these are stuck pretty good. This is tray number three. Look at that deformation. Tray number four. This is stuck to tray number five. Try and get them out together. This is complicated stuff. There we go. Tray number four. There's no way to get tray number five out at the moment. I'll probably do that at home. Here is one of the pellets. Nice and mushroomed. And now to the plywood test. Now, of course, after going through five stainless steel trays, five half inch uh, Baltic birch plywood will definitely be like butter for these Lucky 7 495 uh, 314 grain maxi velocity slugs. But let's try it anyway and see what kind of damage we'll produce. This is by all means not the loudest gun I've ever shot, but wearing ear protection is indeed a good thing. Well, you see the cross here? It was entirely intentional. That is how accurate this gun is at only 10 yards, but um, let's see. Seems like we went through four and five of these half inch plywood, uh, Baltic birch plywood boards. And look at that cross. Unfortunately, it came upside down. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, but yeah, amazing stuff. Let me tell you a little bit about this rifle. This is an AEA Challenger bullpup with a max power valve. I know that the love or hate for AEA out there has had the community polarized for a very long time. I'm personally extremely new to this brand, so like everything in life, I'm approaching it with pure enthusiasm and a wide open mind. That said, as you just saw, this is a beast of a rifle. Not only is it extremely powerful, not only is it a multi-shot rifle, but this thing shoots massive 50 caliber or 495 to be exact slugs. Now, this particular unit here was upgraded with a max power valve, which is said to obviously significantly increase the power. Bluegrass Big Boar carries this rifle in every configuration in its original version, custom with the max power valve, or they also sell the max power valve alone, but they do stress that it is a very, very tricky part to install. So, the rifle comes with this elegant walnut wood stock. It weighs nine pounds. This thing is heavy as hell. The barrel length is 30 inches. It has a sight bolt lever cocking system with a six shot magazine capacity. The air tube holds 500 cc's of air, topping up at 4,500 PSI. And finally, this rifle comes in 35, 45, 50, and 510 caliber. Again, this one here is the 50 caliber version. 
So as you know, this channel has always been very much a power focused uh, channel, but today we're gonna try some downrange shooting as well with our Mr. Gong here. All right, let's start from 20 yards. All right, let's go for 30. 33.3 yards. All right, folks, we are at 62 yards. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Woo -hoo! Let's keep going. All right, folks, 80 yards. I don't think I'm gonna go farther than this. I also just dropped the rifle right on the scope. I hope it's still zeroed in. Let's check it out. Missed. Oh man. Got it! 80 yards! Well, for me, this is a huge accomplishment. So, I'm gonna stop it here. All right, folks, it is time to get some numbers with our chronograph. We will be measuring the speed of the projectiles in feet per second. I'm going to be shooting two magazines, a total of 12 shots. Our rifle is on the green right now um, and for the very first time ever I am placing eight two and a half gallon plastic water jugs they've all been recycled they're filled in with tap water eight of them in a row and I bet you that our challenger is gonna go through all eight of them but we'll see that right now Well, so with 12 shots, we pretty much depleted our air tank and God, the strongest shot was about 800 joules. That's almost 600 foot pound of energy. That's amazing. And of course I forgot to push rec, so we do not have footage, but we hit all eight water jugs. Well, folks, did I get my question answered? I sure did. Is this the most powerful PCP rifle I have ever shot? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the most powerful PCP rifle I have ever shot. Um, it does indeed have some cons or some issues that I ran into, and that is the uh, little magazine here. Not always does it automatically feed the uh, slug uh, to the receiver, to the chamber. Uh, so sometimes you cock it, and shoot it and it just dry shoots. So you need to sometimes kind of either wiggle it or pull out magazine. It automatically uh, kind of twists itself, reclicks itself, and then you insert it back in. So I don't think it's the issue with the gun. I think it's more of a magazine uh, issue. It's just maybe the spring or something. So no big deal. And the weight, I mean, it's awesome. I love the weight. It really makes it feel 
uh, as it should, powerful and heavy. Uh, nevertheless, it's something that you do not want to be carrying around all day long um, or your arms will fall off. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking that like button if you did indeed like this video and for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. I have a lot more, lot more cool guns coming out. So make sure you're subscribed and thank you for watching.